Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm pretty much going to be showing you guys a tour of Buchanan's Nursery here in Houston. So they have the majority of their houseplants in this greenhouse and it's really nice. They have some begonias up there, they have some fiddle with figs, they have a lot of succulents in here too. So around here is where they keep some ferns and these hanging plants and um, ferns aren't really my thing but they have a lot of different varieties. They have a ton of different kinds of Sansevierias here, and I love Sansevierias, but these are a little pricey. Um, these are $10 though, and I kind of regret not getting one, and I'm probably going to go back and get one, but the rest of their Sansevierias are like $10 plus dollars, I feel, but that plant, oh my gosh, that plant really caught my eye, and I, I wanted it, but that little leaf that's broken you know I, I just decided not to get it because of that and then they have the this i think it's a, called a bantle sensation super cool i've been looking for one of these but again twenty dollars a little too much for me So this section that I'm about to show you in just a second is probably my favorite section, but here they have a variegated peace lily and I thought it was like the coolest thing ever. But I don't know, peace lilies, I'm kind of scared I'm going to kill them. <laughs> but over here, this is my favorite section just because they have so many different kinds of calatheas and I feel like all of their cooler plants are on this side. And honestly, I like getting smaller plants um, and all of these are probably like four inch pots I'd say. And yeah, the, the selection is really nice. They have some ZZ plants. They have some other sense of areas over here. And yeah. So I always forget what the name of this plant is, but I'm always so attracted to it. I think it's like a parallel peperomia or like a still peperomia or something like that. But it didn't have a price and I didn't like it at like too much to have to ask for the price for it. Um, they have some begonias here and they're cute, but mm, uh, not my favorite. <laughs> I guess I would say that they have a pretty decent selection of peperomias here, so if you want some peperomias, go ahead and grab some. Um, I really like this ripple peperomia, and I, uh, I, I'm kind of regretting not getting it. These string beans, I think they call them, are also really, really cute, and I would like to have one, I just don't have anywhere to put it, so I didn't get it where I got really excited because these guys look like moonlight philodendrons to me but the tag says that they're not moonlight philodendrons and I was really surprised because judging from like pictures on the internet I think that's what they are they also have these like I think I honestly have no idea what type of philodendron this is but if you know leave it, leave it in the comments down below and they have this prince of orange here too yeah but none of these are labeled the way that I would think that they were labeled. So who knows, maybe I'm wrong. I think they have a pretty good African violet selection. I was looking for a variegated version and I think that that one in the corner is variegated. I just didn't want to take my chances because the leaves started to, are starting to look a little crispy, but yeah. I think today was like restock day for them. It was a Wednesday that I came in and they had a ton of plants in boxes and in those like weird wrapped things um but i 
was still able to see some stuff. They were just blocking everything. They have some rubber plants and some bigger prints of oranges back there, and I walk through this hall of boxes to this, like, other... The, these other calatheas over here really caught my eye. I think that these are just like the medallion ones, but they have some like rosiness to them and I thought they were really cute. This is also where I saw um, a velvet touch and I was super, super jealous because my, my boyfriend actually bought one for his grandma and it looked amazing. It had so much new growth and the leaves were huge and it was so, so good. It was $19 though, if you care. <laughs> And then they have this beautiful succulent collection. There are so many of them. If you really want some succulents, go ahead and try here before you go other places. But I will say they are a little pricey. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the tour. I hope to get better footage next time and yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!